Okay, so I went over to Safeway again to get something for dinner. I almost went to 7-Eleven and got a pizza, but I decided to go to Safeway. I got some bologna, some sharp cheddar cheese slices, and some basic white bread of enjoy. So I got dinner sorted and um, I've been messing around with um, things regarding the AirPods to kind of figure things out with them. And uh, everything's been good so far except for I decided to download the mobile Spotify app for my phone today to kind of um, be logged into Spotify to be able to listen to stuff without um, having to have my uh, web browser open because um, I don't like to keep much on my phone most of the time. I, uh, Whenever I close the browser, I always uh, clear all the browsing data, history, and all that. And um, so that way I, I could be, keep being logged into Spotify without having to, like, log in through the web browser every time. So, um, yeah, in the mobile app, the AirPods are still, like, coming up under the, like, previous owner's name. And, um, even though I changed the name in the, uh, like, Android settings... Like the in in the Android settings themselves, they're still they're 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 coming up as the new name that I gave them. Um, but under Spotify, they're still showing up as the original, what they were named when I found them. So um, I downloaded iTunes for Windows in case I could like plug the case in with the pods inside and then like do some configuration that way but they didn't even like show up at all that way so it must be some sort of like ios thing where you can maybe like change it permanently in all in all apps um through an ios update or something or on a mac or something i'm not completely sure i'll have to figure that out at some point in the future. Um, so yeah, I ended up downloading iTunes for Windows. Um, with Apple Music, iTunes is now like an ancient thing, I think. Um, so yeah, I plugged the AirPods case in, the pods were inside, nothing was showing up in, in iTunes regarding that, but I logged into my old, old iTunes account that I used to use to redeem, um, free download codes that you get, like, on cards at Starbucks. The, uh, local mall, Tacoma Mall, would always have, like, free songs every week that you could download, and so... I would pick up those cards all the time and redeem them in, in iTunes. I did end up getting an iTunes gift card at one point and was able to redeem it and um, buy a few things in the iTunes store, which are still in the library as well. Um, there was this one compilation that I... Oh, and then later, w way later on, I bought... Um, I bought an actual iTunes gift card and um, bought some some music with it. One of the things was a compilation called Not Skift. Um, N a t t s k i f t. And um, the reason for buying that compilation was mainly because back. In the day, on my old, old desktop, 
when I used to um, listen to like internet radio through Winamp, there was this one song that would come on on um, one of the stations that I would listen to overnight when I was like, I'd, I'd go to sleep and I'd set it to play, and I'd just play music overnight. And so there was a um, song called Hearts, and it was by an artist called Project Hertz, and uh, it became one of my favorite songs. Like, I would hear it every so often. I would wake up, and it would play. It would be playing, and um, so eventually I just found out um, what album it was on. It's a the compilation called Not Skift, and... I just bought the whole album. And then my account also has um, that one U2 album, uh, Songs of Innocence, that was like force-fed to like everybody with an iTunes account back in the day, back when it came out. I think it's a good album, but there are a lot of people that like had no association whatsoever with U2 and like didn't want it because it would like automatically download and take up space and that. So, um, that was still in my account, and so, like, I'll probably, I mean, it's, it's everywhere online, you can, you can listen to it through Spotify or whatever else, anyway, but, like, I still have the download in my account that I can down, that I can download if I want to, and so, uh, but I, Anyway, I, I downloaded the compilation Not Skift. I actually downloaded the files um, today because I thought, like, the last time that I logged into my iTunes account, I couldn't find that album. I thought it had been, like, deleted from, from uh, the account for some reason. <clears throat> But I logged in today and saw it there, and I was like, oh, hey, that's, 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 I thought I lost that album. But, yeah, anyway, um, I got, I got it again. I got the album. I have iTunes on my desktop. Um, also I found out that, um, AAC M4A audio format works fine with Android, but for some reason, um, Apple Lossless does not. At least in my experience, it hasn't really worked at all. Um, the files, if I was like in the browser, not web browser, but in the file browser, Google Files, um, I would tap on the thing to play it and um, it would just be silent um, no sound would come through but then when I'd go and play an AAC M4A file um, it would play but the artwork wouldn't show up so Android is partially incompatible with like some of those Apple formats which is unfortunate but what can you do I guess um, I ripped a couple of uh, audio CDs that I have, the um, albums Octahedron and Nocturnicate by the Mar Mars Volta. Really good albums, um, but I ripped them to Apple Lossless, but I couldn't play them on my phone as I was going up to the store to, um, or I couldn't, I just couldn't play them. Um, I ended up playing something else on the way up to Safeway not skiffed but um before i played that since i couldn't play the apple losses files that was what i played but yeah um i tried playing the album through uh youtube music the 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 device the files on the device they just they they would it would act like i was trying to connect to something but was offline so that was kind of weird um but yeah the uh apple lossless aac files worked fine but the album art didn't show up unfortunately but I can I can listen to the files so I'll have to re-rip the CDs as like flack or something I guess if I want to listen to them 
I've been trying, I've been continuing to test the AirPods to like see what, what things sound like in, in compressed quality, in full, like lossless quality streaming, etc. Just different platforms just to see cut, see kind of how everything sounds. And so far everything's gone pretty good. I think lossless sounds pretty good. Um, see what like really low frequencies sound like. Um, when I like take a song and I stretch it out to the length of the maximum length of a CD, which is like nearly 80 minutes. And then, um, see how, how, how the low frequency sounds, see how good they sound lossless. Um, so it's, it's, it's been an adventure so far. I'm still like figuring everything out, getting used to things. Um, entering the modern era of, uh, digital technology and streaming and whatnot. So, um, yay and stuff. Anywho, yeah, I got dinner sorted and, um, I'm about to eat dinner and that's about it. I'll listen to some music and watch some YouTube and, um, that's about it for the day, pretty much. Um, I finished the two liter of Dr. Pepper and cream soda, and I have yet to open that, um, Java monster that I got earlier, but yeah, I'll save that for tomorrow. So anywho, that's about it for this, um, rant slash story time slash, not really a rant actually, it's just kind of a rambling kind of, uh, explanation of things that have been going on today and that. So anyway, I'm about to eat dinner, so I'm going to let this video end here and, uh, see you later.